Okay guys, quick story. So I went to my local Walmart, right? And I was like, I kind of want to film a Transformers like shopping video, but I was like, they're not going to have anything. So I was like, you know what? I'll just go in and check to see if they have anything. And I was like, they're probably not. I walk in, they have some Kingdom stuff on the shelves. And I look down on the very bottom shelf in between two Dinobots is a Kingdom Rhinox. This figure isn't even off of pre-order yet. So, looks like I'm reviewing Rhinox today. What's going on YouTube? Champa Productions coming back at you with another Transformers video review. And in today's video, I'll be taking a look at the Transformers Kingdom Voyager class Rhinox. Now, starting this review off by taking a look at the packaging. The packaging is standard for the Kingdom toy line, but it's got all the amazing artworks. You got a picture of Rhinox in his Rhino mode, his robot mode, which looks really fantastic. It states that he's a Voyager class figure. You got Rhinox there on the front. You've got Maximal logo there on the top. On the side, you got that amazing Kingdom artwork that we've seen time and time again. On the backs, we got a picture of Rhinox in his robot mode, his rhino mode, and that he converts in 35 steps. And then you got like little cave drawings of a little rhino. So that's pretty cool. So that's it for the packaging. Now, in terms of accessories, Rhinox does come with his little Gatling gun. Uh, saw blade things that we see him wield in the show which have been painted very nicely some gold and some whitish silver uh, which very nice and they've been casted in uh, sort of a gray plastic so there you have that uh, if you do have siege blast effects lying around you can you know have these things sporting some blast effects and make it look like he's lighting somebody up just tearing them apart but you know pretty cool little accessories and these do combine and I'll show you how to do that they simply there's two peg holes on both sides and the corresponding pegs for the siege effects simply peg into those holes and then that allows you to store in rhino mode I'll get into that here in a little bit he does come with a collector's card I got Predacon Dinobot which if you know my opinion on these collector's cards are really cool now I haven't opened this yet so we're about to figure out together What's on the other side of the sticker? Oh! Oh, wow! That is wicked looking! Okay, that's really cool. You can see a picture of Dinobot. Looks like he's being reformatted into another character or something, but that is wicked. I like that. This is a cool card. This is a really, really cool card. And so he does come with a collector's card, and then he does come with his instructions which stand them uh, th that standard kingdom instructions and then he does come with his warning sheet yay warnings and stuff and here we have rhinox in his rhinoceros mode and this thing is pretty good looking i mean it's definitely a really good rhino mode not a whole lot to it it's obviously a rhinoceros um you know, it's a really good looking figure. There are some exposed, you can see robot parts, you can see, or I shouldn't say parts, um, just exposed like green bits for the robot mode, like up here and on the inside of the legs and whatnot. But I mean, overall, it's a really good rhino mode. Taking a look at the details and whatnot, you can see the face has been sculpted really nicely, some nice speckled detailing there, and you got the horns that have been molded very nicely, red eyes, you got some more of that texturing and paint. Come around here to the back, you got his tail molded in. His feet have been painted really nice. You got his toes that have been painted really nice. Overall, a really good rhino mode. You got the ears that have been molded really nicely as well. Really nice looking rhinoceros mode. Um, even at the mouth, if you open his mouth up, um, his teeth and tongue are painted exceptionally well. Uh, you can see you got a nice pink tongue in there if my camera will focus some nice silver teeth he doesn't have any teeth up top so uh but that doesn't look bad but there you have that um yeah rhino mode looks really good now as mentioned you can take his gatling gun saw things and you can incorporate them into the rhino mode and to do that you're going to untransform it some of the instructions tell you to uh, do it during the transformation which definitely does help but you know you're going to take these panels here on the side and push them in because they tab into the main rhino mode so just do that on both sides and then that will allow you to take the entire back half of the rhino and take these panels and untab them like so and then that will give you clearance and there are two pegs here 
right here and right here that will tab into peg holes right here and right there. So you're going to take the Gatling guns and you're going to try to maneuver them into the cavity. Again, it's a lot easier per the instructions way, the instructions way of uh, doing it during transformation, but it is doable when you already have them in Rhino mode. So there we go. Just tab all that back together. And then you bring these panels back in and you basically just reconfigure everything back into Rhino mode. Make sure these tabs fall back into place like so bring the rhino legs down and there you have his gatling gun stored within the belly of the beast so they conceal very nicely they fill out a bit of a hollow gap on the underside of the rhino quite nicely as well so uh, there is a benefit in doing that now in terms of rhinox's articulation in rhino mode it's it's all right definitely more of the brickish um, it's more of a brickish figure, especially when it's compared to the likes of some of the other Kingdom figures, which have been really well articulated in both modes. But, uh, going over it, you do have a little bit of slight head movement, and I think that's more for transformation than anything. Uh, you do have a jaw that opens up to a great degree. <laughs> Gosh, that looks terrifying. Um, but you do have a jaw that opens and closes, no head rotation or anything. The arms can move outwards, but they expose a lot of the robot stuff. Uh, no elbow bends, unfortunately, but you do get swivels, and you sort of can get a little bit of forward and backwards, but it, it's really due to the transformation. Um, the hind legs do have a little bit of movement too. They're on ball joints, so you can sort of get some inward movement and a little bit of backward movement there as well. Um, but yeah, uh, I do have a little bit of an issue right now trying to get this to stay tapped in to place with the Gatling guns there, but other than that, he doesn't really have much articulation. He's definitely kind of a brick. Now for size comparisons, here we have Rhinox next to Kingdom Core Class Rat Trap. Let's bring in Deluxe Class Cheetor. Let's bring in the leader of the Maximals, Optimus Primal. Bring in Voyager Class Dinobot. And... For one final comparison, let's bring in Leader Class Megatron. So there we have the size comparisons for the Rhino Mode. Now taking a look at Rhinox's transformation or robot mode, it is a little bit tricky to learn at first, but I'm going to teach you how to do it so you don't lose brain cells like I did because it took me so many outtakes and so many different cuts and then I learned, oh, there's a better way to transform this figure. So, transformation, here we go. Start by taking the front legs, folding them forward, and then taking these bits here and pushing them in like so. Just like that on both sides, just push them in. And then take the legs and split them here at the back and then take these panels here, open them up, take this assembly here, fold it in and then fold it out. That will allow you to take the legs and untab them like so. And then once you do that, you can fold them out some more, a little bit, and then take the rhino legs, fold them up like so. Take this panel here, fold it in, and tab it into place, and fold it up just like that. Then we take the robot mode feet, untab them from the inside, and fold them around just like so. Once you do that, take this section here, and there is a peg hole right here and a peg right here, and that will all tab into place like so. And then what you do from there, make sure that stays there. There's actually a lot of mechanical detail, but there is a peg hole right here and a peg. And this will all just tab into place like so. And then you bring Rhinox's leg forward and take this panel here and fold it back. Same process on this side. Should be a little bit easier because now you've got a little bit more room to work with. Make sure none of this interferes with each other. So we're going to take all this, fold it up, fold this in. Pull the leg out like so. Take the robot mode foot just like so. Untab it just like that and swing it around. Take this panel in, fold it up, and have all that into place. And here we have Rhinox's 
legs complete. So after that, what we are going to do is take the rhino head and back and pull it back on a double hinge in a little bit. And then that will allow us to bring the shoulder assembly forward. And then we can straighten the shoulders out like so. So just like that, pull those out. Then take the forearms, rotate them forward, fold these forearm panels up and rotate out the fists. We're gonna do that on both sides, just like so. Try to get these up and fold out the fists. Come on, come on, there we go. Straighten out the arms, just like so. Then we can take the robot mode head and swing it around and then take this entire assembly here and push it down like so. And then for the last few bits of the transformation, take the chest, open it up, and then fold out these hinges here to get that faux lower jaw of the rhino mode sitting on his chest like we saw in Beast Wars. And then just make sure these panels are folded up here on his sides. And here we have his robot mode. And I really like the, uh, I really like the overall look of the robot mode. It looks really good in my opinion. We have a really good looking robot mode. It's not perfect, um, but it definitely does look just like Rhinox in my opinion they did a really good job doing a quick 360 overview of the figure we can see the worst part about him is the back hollow 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 there's nothing really you can do about it unfortunately but you know that's kind of annoying but the figure does look really nice you got some really nice details on him you got some nice paint there at the feet some paint there the black toes and got some gold right there on his lower torso and you got some gold there and some silver for the fake teeth um, on the faux lower jaw and his head sculpt has turned out really nicely in my opinion too i really like the head sculpt for this guy got the nice red eyes the green helmet and the gold accents as well looks really really nice got some gold on his shoulders as well arms have been molded really nicely overall he's a really good looking figure in robot mode you can have him holding his Gatling guns. Uh, they just peg into his hands, like so. And they look pretty cool, especially when you get some... Whoopsie daisy, I'm about to drop the figure. Especially when you get some Siege Blast effects going with them. They look really, really cool. You can have them... Looks really, really cool. Uh, you can store them on the back of Rhinox in robot mode as well. Uh, so just showing you how to do that really quick. If I can get him out of his fist. There we go. Uh, they can just store here on the back. There are a couple pegs, right? Peg holes right here. And they just peg into the back right there and store off of his back. So you do have weapon storage in robot mode. So there you have that. Now for robot mode size comparisons, here we have a core class rat trap. So we can see how these two scale side by side. Let's bring in deluxe class Cheetor. Get him to stand, come on. There we go, deluxe class Cheetor. Bring in a Voyager class Optimus Primal. So you can see roughly about the same height. Bring in Voyager class Dinobot. See how these two scale. And last but not least, Leader class Megatron. So there we have the scale there. And just bringing in all the maximal characters back into view here so we can get a look at all the characters from or a majority of the characters from the first season bring all these guys back into view we can see that's a pretty good looking cast uh now we're just waiting for a air razor which has already been released in a tigertron so there you have that now for articulation, Rhinox is fairly poseable. Head is on a ball joint, which allows for some up and down movement. Full 360 degrees. Arms move outwards. 
but they look a little bit odd. Um, full 360 here. They do have a butterfly joint for the transformation, so you can get him pointing his like Gatling guns in the same direction, which is really, really cool. Um, you get a 360 bicep swivel, and then you do get a little less than 90 degree elbow bend. No wrist swivel, unfortunately. You do get a limited waist rotation, unfortunately. Legs can kick forward all the way, can sort of kick backwards. They're blocked by the kibble, um, but you can sort of move it out of the way and get some more movement out of that. And the outward movement is pretty good. Uh, again, it's blocked by some kibble. You do have a knee bend, or a knee swivel, I should say, excuse me, knee swivel. And then you do have a double jointed knee bend as well. So there you have that. And then his ankles are really articulated. You got some nice ankle tilts. And a little bit, if you can access it, forward and backwards due to the transformation. So overall, Rhinox has got some pretty decent posability. Um, lacks in some areas, but then makes up for it in others. So overall, pretty posable. So overall, what are my official thoughts and opinions about Voyager class Rhinox? Overall, he's a really good figure. He does have his flaws. Uh, my main uh, gripe about the figure is the transformation, at least going from Rhino mode to robot mode. Uh, the transformation, learning it was a bit of a pain. I'll be honest, uh, it took a lot of trial and error, but then I figured out the best way, and I tried to demonstrate that in this video review to help you guys. But once you learn how to transform it, uh, some of the clearance issues definitely do um, clear up. Uh, no pun intended, but other than that, I don't really have any issues with the Rhino mode. Um, the robot mode looks really good, poses really well, and I really like the look of the robot mode. It really does look good. The gold on the chest and the silvers and uh, the green and everything, it works really well in my opinion. Uh, one issue I do have with the robot mode, my main issue here is at the back where it's all hollow and whatnot. Um, is this figure worth picking up? I would say so. If you do not have a Rhinox in your collection, or if you're a Beast Wars fan, me personally, I don't have the Thrilling 30 Rhinox that everyone's comparing this figure to, so this is a good Rhinox figure because, again, I don't have that figure, and, you know, they have Kingdom Rhinox out. So, for me, yeah, this is a good figure. Like I said, it does have its issues, but I've already mentioned that, and he's got a good amount of posability. The paint looks good comes with all the accessory he, accessories he needs, which is really just the Gatling guns, and he looks really good in robot mode, poses, poses really well, and he just looks good. But guys, that's all for me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, be sure to leave a like, comment what you think of Rhinox down in the comment section below, and be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss a video from my channel. That's all for me, Champion Productions, signing off.